Hey new nursing student, if you're wondering what to expect your first semester of clinicals, then keep on watching. Hi everyone, I'm Danielle Denise and welcome to my channel. For those of you guys who are new here, I make videos about my nursing journey, mental health support, and other lifestyle content. So please be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more, but if you're here to find out what to expect your first semester in clinicals, then keep on watching. For those of you who do not know, I am an entry-level master's in nursing graduate student, and I just finished my first semester. So in today's video, I will briefly go over how I was navigated into the clinical setting, my first experience on the clinical floor, what I actually got to do throughout clinicals, and I will end on some advice and some of the things that you actually need to bring for clinicals. So this semester, I only had one clinical rotation. Next semester, we move up to two, but for this semester, just one was just fine. So I was on a med search floor. I was on a hip and knee ortho floor, but I definitely saw patients from other areas from time to time. I definitely had a couple OB patients this semester. But before we talk about this hospital experience, going back, before they even let us on the floor, we did skills lab for a couple weeks. This is when we learned our vital signs, introductions, Foley catheters, NG tubes, wound dressings, head to toe assessments, aside from the ones that you'll do in your health assessment course, and we did medications and dosage calculations. So we learned a few medications, but not as in depth as what we will learn in our pharmacology course. And then we were also introduced to simulation labs. I just wanna say now that if there are any terms that come up that you guys are like, what is she talking about? Don't worry, it'll come. Don't let that discourage you. So going back to skills lab, we had to get checked off on all of those skills to even get to try them at the hospital. So then getting to the hospital. So for my first day at the hospital, it was more of like an orientation day. We spent time doing a scavenger hunt, getting acquainted where everything was, such as like crash carts, where they keep AccuCheck machines, vital signs machines, where's the cafeteria, because your girl needs her croissants but my hospital only had these turkey melts. But that's not what's important. What's important is that this is your first day on the floor. You get to see how things are run. You're meeting all of your nurses, your charge nurses, your nurse managers, your CNAs, your PTs. You get to see when the doctors come through. How just like the natural flow of that floor, you're getting your first impression of it. And you're also making your first impression on all of these people. And honestly, this is what sets the tone for your semester. If your group comes in kind, ready to work, positive, enthusiastic, that will really make your nurses feel excited to have you guys back again. So now let's get into my favorite part. What did I actually get to do on the floor? So everyone's experience will be different depending on the nurse that you get, the hospital that you're at, what your school allows you to do, and what you've already been checked off on. So these are just a few of the things that I got to do. Some of them are just like, okay, this is, this is what a nurse does. But then some of these things, I was like, wow, I'm really in nursing school now. So let me just go over a couple, I wrote them down. So we had positioning, transferring patients from bed to chair, chair to bed, ambulating patients around the floor, bed making, occupied and unoccupied, uh, bed baths. My school did these training videos called ATI, and in that video, they used a bunch of towels, a bunch of soap and water, and basically our professors were like, this is what it would be like in an ideal world, which is true because once we got on the floor, we used chlorhexidine wipes or heavy wipes with chlorhexidine foam. I also got to assist and observe wound dressings and cleanings. The one that I got to do was a wet to dry dressing. There will be people who come around uh, with the food for your patients, so you can totally help them out if you want and if you're allowed to. I was also checked off on inserting Foley catheters, but once I was on the floor, I became like the Foley removal pro. I never inserted one, a few of my classmates did, but I did not. But let me tell you, I was the Foley catheter removal pro. Okay, ask my nurse, ask my nurses, ask my preceptor, okay? <laughs> also did some condom caths, bed pans, administering food in a feeding tube, suctioning through an NG tube, putting on a nasal cannula, turning the machine on, all of that, draining an ostomy bag. Please, early tip, wear a mask and a shield. That smell is different, it's different. I got to observe dialysis and whatever they needed help with, I got to like, you know, pass some things because dialysis nurses are have a different like specialty and things. So I'm just on a regular med search floor. 
it's not much I can really do. Vitals, 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 vitals. You will become the vital sign king or queen of your floor. They're basically your responsibility, so be on it and you're gonna get them down. Um, AccuCheck's, you know, just blood sugar readings for our diabetic patients. Um, IV removals for my patients that were getting discharged. I don't know if I said it, but only removals because we don't get checked off on IV insertions until second semester. So we weren't allowed to put them in, we were just allowed to take them out. And then some random fun things that I got to do. I got to be a sitter, but my first and last day on the sitting job, I was in charge of two patients, but I was only watching one because I did not know I was supposed to be watching my other patient but that was the last time, first and last. I once got to use my nurse's phone when she was out on break, so the charge nurse gave me her phone and I was waiting for a patient to call me, but nobody called me. Nobody except the charge nurse called me. She just wanted to see if my phone was still working. Also, you do get the opportunity to pass medications as long as you're checked off on it. Um, something really cool you get to use is the Pixis if your hospital has it. It's so cool. Everything just kind of like pops out and it like knows what your patient needs, but you just have to confirm and then it just, pops out of this magical machine. Then injections. I became so good at injections. Anytime there was an injection, I would wanna try. And I think that's what helped me get better. So be open to trying anything. I injected heparin, Lovenox, insulin, anything that my nurse handed to me, but I also had to know what it was. So I was just willing to try it all. Keep doing them and you'll get better at it. It's really a confidence boost when your patients are like, I didn't feel a thing. I'm like, yes, cause I'm a nurse. <laughs> Last but not least, reading charts, documenting. It's very important that you do that because, because if you didn't document it, you didn't do it. Another tip, don't forget to turn your patients, especially if they're immobile. Be sure that you're on it, like turning your patients all the time. So those are most of the things that I got to do. I don't know if I forgot anything. I tried to write it all down, but hopefully I got everything. So now moving on to some advice. I'll start with confidence is key. You'll be scared, especially if it's your first time on the floor, especially without nursing experience, but it'll come, you'll get into the groove of things and everything will go semi-smoothly after that. <laughs> it may not be perfect, but it's all a learning experience. So don't give up on yourself and maintain confidence. You got this. And going in with the patient can be super nerve wracking, especially if they're kind of like, mm, I don't want a student, I don't want anybody working with me, but going with that confidence, they're not ready for you, okay? And the biggest one is to maximize your experience on the clinical floor. Sometimes you don't really get to do much depending on where you're at, but if you're helping out where you can, you get to do more. So usually we're told to focus on one patient. And of course you wanna do that. You wanna know everything about that patient, their medications, their history, what's due for them. Know that, but then also try to help your nurse out with all of her patients, because this is not only helpful for your nurse, it's also helpful for you just in case another patient has like, let's say an NG tube insertion that your patient that you're focusing on doesn't have that day so you won't get to experience it. But your nurse will be like, hey, come check this out. I want you to try this over here. Like just help them out with everyone. And then that opens the door for more opportunities to try more things. Also, don't be afraid to answer that call light. Always answer the call light. You know, it could be something as simple as, oh, this patient just needs to get up and go to the restroom, you can assist them. But also, if it's something you're not able to do, you can totally just tell a patient, hey, I'll go run out and grab your nurse. It's always good to lend a helping hand out to other nurses on the floor. Sometimes those nurses will talk to your nurse and be like, hey, I have this for one of my patients, can your student come over and check this out? Like you're opening the door to so many more opportunities. Also, don't be afraid to help out your classmates. So for example, if you're like me and you've done like four bajillion Foley removals, that four bajillion and one Foley removal, you could be like, oh, hey Karen, I know that you didn't get to do a Foley removal. Would you like to try? It's really helpful so that everyone in your group gets the chance to try things. And last piece of advice, I wanna talk about dealing with mean nurses. Now this is something that everyone will warn you about, but I just want to preface by saying, please do not take this personally. It's usually a projection of their own insecurities. And to add to that, yes, nurses are human too, but if you are treating them with respect, you deserve to receive reciprocated respect because one day you are going to be their peer. It does not feel good to be treated inferior, especially for a 12 hour shift. 
you deserve to have a good day. So be sure to cut that tie at the beginning of the shift by letting your preceptor know or letting that nurse know, hey, if you're really busy today and you're not comfortable with having a student, just let me know so that I can go find someone else. Remember that you're paying tuition money and that you're basically working for free to learn. And how much are you gonna learn if your nurse doesn't wanna teach you anything? So I'm gonna wrap up with some of the things that you actually need in your clinical bag. I watched so many videos for things to buy for clinicals and some of the things I never even touched. But it is better to be overprepared than underprepared, but let me tell you about these staples that you'll need. So the things that I used on a consistent basis when I was on the floor was a stethoscope, a pin light, um, my foldable clipboard that I got from Amazon, some scissors, some tape. I had both the clear tape and the paper tape. Patients prefer the paper tape because it hurts less when you, when you take it off, but it's cool to have both. And if you get anything else, it's great to have more than what you need because you never know what you'll need. But these are the essentials. Okay, so I'm just gonna wrap this video up here. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video was helpful for you and insightful and has you excited for your first semester of clinicals, be sure to comment down below and let me know. And also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to follow me on my nursing journey. And I'd love to hear about your nursing journeys as well. I know that I have a bit of a small platform, but I love hearing from you guys in the comments and in my DMs, <laughs> updating me about your application process and everything else that's going on. It makes me so excited because it feels like I'm building a real genuine connection with all of you and it excites me every time. So I will see you all in my other videos. Bye.